33rd edition 1985 Hornby Railways and Thomas Tank Engine catalogue. Let's have a look through. There's an Intercity 125 on the front there. Opening up, double page spread. Welcome to the world of Hornby Railways. So it shows you train sets, page four. Steam locomotives, page eight. Diesel electric mo locomotives, page 14. Track and accessories, page 30. Stations and buildings, page 32. Bridges, people and kits, page 34. Coaches, page 16. Signals and turntable, page 36. Planning your layout, page 38. Wagons and vans, page 24. Power and control systems, page 28. And the world of Thomas the Tank Engine on page 40. Nice. So, train set. Train sets. You've got your high speed train set. You're in the CE125. In the, uh, the modern liveries. At that time, the latest livery. You've got your clockwork train set. Your midnight freight train set. Comes home buildings. Your industrial freight train set. It's all nice and clear. Shows you exactly what you get in the pack. you got the Ginty on the country local train set. And the rural Rambler train set. Then it comes on the steam locomotives. Now there we go. We've got to go up for that one. Look at that. So you've got your Princess Elizabeth Princess class. You've got your Queen Mary Coronation class. And you see your Bristol Coronation class. So these are these are really lovely. These three. Really nice. Really nice engines to look at. Not as nice looking as this. So look at that LNER Silver Fox. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a Grizzly A4 streamlined. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's honour of the Silver Jubilee of King George V. Southern Railways. You've got GWR St. David. LNER Flying Scotsman. You've got the Southern Rail Schools class, Eaton. And the GWR Pannier Tank, the ever popular Pannier Tank. Turn a page, we've got a Battle of Britain class. This one's um, name plated up to 41 Squadron. You've got the Smoky Joe, you'll start one, and the Tolgus Tin. That's the old um, GWR 040 101 BR. Compound 44p, sorry, class 4p, and you got a Lancashire and Yorkshire saddle tank new for the year, and a super detail loco pack was available for putting on some of these. Then you got the diesel and electric, that's quite nice. Look at that, that's, that's nicely laid out. Nice picture. Look at that. You've got class 86, class 47, and a inner city 125, class 253. There you go, nice liveries on these. So you've got class 37, a class 58, and a class 8 shunter down the bottom. Class 37, class 47, and another class 37. So you got on those two pages three different liveries for the class 37s. Coaches, you've got lots of different coaches to choose from. This looks uh, quite nice, having having a, a main sort of background picture to break up what's what's basically just boring coach pictures, side on coach pictures. So that, I think that sets it off a lot better. So from a graphic designer's point of view, that's a lot nicer. There we go, coming through. Then we've got the freight and, and um, what have you, wagons and vans. Good choice there. And the power and control systems. Accessories for them. Zero one has been suspended. Track and accessories. You can see what you get and what you need. Track packs and you've got your level crossings and buffer stops and fencing and uncoupling ramps. And then you come onto the stations and buildings. So you've got a double page image at the bottom. And it's showing the water tower, the signal box, the country station, station halt. You've got good shed, diesel depot, engine shed, car loading ramp. That's quite interesting. Then you've got all the little bits and pieces you can add to it. Booking hall and waiting room. 
turning over, you've got the bridges, people, and kit, various bridges and viaducts and so on. You've got double page, that big, massive suspension bridge with, uh, look at that, there's a bit of speed showing on that one. That big LMS Coronation class, a streamlined one, City of Bristol. Different bits and bobs you can add to it, including trees and churches and pylons. And all sorts of turntables and signals on the next page. Again, they've gone for the double page image. Planning your layout. Always like when they do that. So there you go. There's uh, an adult and a child. And they're, they're fiddling around. So you've got your track planning symbols. So it's showing what you can do. So you've got a mixture there of all manner of... of um, Freight and passenger coaches, turntables, buildings, and so on, some trees in the city 125 there, and class 87 there. So, this is showing a typical 8x4 layout. I'm not sure how typical that is. I don't know, I don't know if there's many people who've got that, but actually, that looks quite a nice one to build. So, you know, you're filling visually all the space, you've got, you've got lots of sidings and and um, you've got the term table and it's not just a basic oval because of course it comes in there it comes in there so that's quite pretty as well so you've you've basically only got one working loop that you could run that's a two levels so obviously that one's going over that one but you could run that as two levels if you if you ignore those points so you could have the inner circuit going along like that ignore the sidings so yeah i suppose it is a it is a two circuit layout two track layout um tells you all the bits you need for it it's actually really nice i mean if you if you were planning to do a 1985 train set for example you could you could work from that that gives you a really good one to start with so you can then just include all your buildings and accessories and so on and have plenty of space for putting the wagons and the coaches. So where I've done my 1981 layout, I didn't didn't have something like that to base it on. That would have been really cool then, just to replicate that. So then we go on to Thomas the Tank Engine. Good old bit of Beatles. There you go. You've got your Gordon and your Percy and your your Thomas. There you go. It's all quite quite pretty. So it shows you the different Thomas and Percy train sets. He's happy that he really likes his Thomas Tank engine, that boy. He's over the moon with it. He's, oh God, he's got big hands, isn't he? Eh? Hand fisted, I reckon. He, 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 yeah. He's got to play the train set because he certainly can't make any airfix models. Not my hands like that. Look at that. I mean, if he didn't have such fat fingers, he'd make an excellent piano player because his reach would just be brilliant. He could do all the keys from all the sides and things like that, you know. Brilliant. It'd be the Stradivarius of pianos. So there you go. Yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine logos and wagons. And then the buildings. Yeah. Nice. And that's the end of that catalogue. Ends up with the art of Hornby. It's a nice little book. And then this is a double pager. So you can actually whip the cover off, stick it on your wall as a poster. Nice. 